video is going to take us through how we're going to carry out this question on the GDC. Okay, so the Melbourne Aquatic Center, yada yada yada, the raw data is collected in the table. Um, find the Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient. So listen spreadsheets. Uh, let's go for a stand, uh, and let's go mins, and we're just going to type the data in. So we're not interested in a, etc. Sorry, that's three. Um, we are just interested in getting the values in as quickly as and accurately as we can. So let's just double check. One, two, three, four, eight competitors. Yep. Um, and then 4.7, enter 4.6, enter 4.8, 7.2, enter. Nine, enter 9.5, and 7.2. Okay, so. Oops, we've missed one. Uh, which one do we miss? So that must be 7.2. 7, 7 That's 9.5. That one's 9. 7.8. 7.8. And then 7.2, 7. Okay, so always good to check. Um, and now we just need to find Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient. So we're in the menu. Statistics. Um, it's a statistical. It's a statistical. That's calculation, sorry, it's a two variable statistic or we can do it in within linear regression. Um, and because if we read through the question, it says or and the equation in the regression line, let's just do the linear regression, okay? Let's use mx plus b rather than a, a plus bx because it'll be in a form that we're used to. Uh, where stan is our x value, mins is our y value, which is stated in the question. Uh, we've got a frequency of one of each, uh, category list, no categories. And I'm just going to be cheeky here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over into like column F because I know I need to type something into the calculator in a minute. Okay. Uh, then we click OK and it gives us an R value of 0 0.90918 as we've already stated. Um, gives an R squared value of 0 0.826. So there's a strong positive correlation there which allows us to interpret the relationship. And then later we can write the equation of regression as y equals 1.14x plus 0 0.578. Okay, so that's answered parts A, B, and C straight away on the calculator. Use your regression from the equation. Um, so we can just scratch pad this, so 1.14. Uh, we're going to times that by 10. And we're going to add on 0. Point was that? I forgot what it was. 0 0.578. 0 0.578. If I hit enter, okay, you get 11.978. But if we use the unrounded answers as would be expected, um, 0 0.033 times that by 10 and add on 0 0.578183. Oh, that's times by 120. That's not good, is it? That, that answer didn't make any sense. Okay, let's take that two out and hit enter. And now we get 11.9818. So we're still getting 12.0 to three significant figures. So we're happy with that one. Uh, stay with it answer. Uh, in the other video, that's not reliable because you can't score greater than 12, uh, 10. Um, F, okay, so we're back to uh, our table. In, earlier, we needed to, we put the data into the calculator. So we're now looking at Stan's rank. So uh, let's call it Shrank. Um, and we're gonna go rank. Um, and we type in the data as we got. So in an examination, the, the examiner has to use your data. It's quite possible that there is gonna be a continuation error, especially when it says find the value of the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, and you've been asked to generate something. Um, However, you're going to have to try and you're going to have to communicate that somehow. OK, um, so let's do the ranks and the ranks are I've lost my ranks. They are here. We go at seven, eight, six, four, two, four, one, four. That's the, yep, they they line up. That's great. And we're going to go seven, eight, six, four point five. 3, 2, 1, and 4.5. And we're just going to do exactly the same thing again. Okay, we are expected to find Spearman's correlation coefficient. Okay, um, and this is the linear regression of the ranks. So let's do menu, statistics, um, stat calc. It's a 
might as well do it in linear regression. Um, so our X list this time was Stan's rank. Uh, y list is Minson's rank. We're going to whip through all of these. We've got one of each. Uh, we can put it in J column. At this stage, it doesn't really matter as long as we don't overwrite the data in A, B, or C, or D. Um, we hit enter and we get an R value of 0 0.93267, which rounds to 0 0.933. Comment on the result. Um, there's a strong um, positive, uh, sorry, a strong, uh, they strongly agree on the ranking of the competitors. And we can even show you here. So um, in the last question, it says it changes from 9.5 to 9.1. So let's change that to 9.1. Um, it's still going to have a rank of one because it's still the highest number and it didn't change because I didn't change anything in my ranks. Okay.